warriors, samurais, and legends, how are you all today? I hope you're all achieving and striving for your goals every day. That being said, I wanted to start highlighting each chapter as we do incredible feats that Twitch didn't even know was possible. This is the chapter 18 wrap up entitled The Power of the Dojo. Page one, we hit up front page of Twitch as we embarked on our very first Mojimon tear list. After much debate, we finally got a list that we can all semi agree on. <laughs> we then entered community night antics as Jackbox and Job Job took over, and I don't even want to talk about it anymore. All right, a strong start to the chapter. You can stop these two. <sighs> Bro. Who is. The champion of being kind of a big deal. We experienced God of War gameplay for the first time as I also debuted as a boss for the first time ever in my God of War form. Page 2 did not disappoint, but I didn't come alone. I debuted the second Moju God, Gamora. The goal was to prepare warriors for the road to Thor and I began that. We are all witnessing and witnessed a rather ruthless style of trader, man. I loved it. I debuted a brand new form called Ascension, which is one step higher than being able to awaken. Gamora was here to wreak havoc by claiming Mojumon left and right, destroying warriors items and its tsunami and more. Oh, I got range, baby. Leviathan Crusher. F you Novas, F you, yeah. Your hits are weak. Yeah, that's that's what I like. I like that, I like that. You gotta come in here with that energy. Come through, it is what it is. I mean, this brother unknown, he's concussed. He can't spell, get off me, babe. Real talk. Sonic Frontiers made its debut in the dojo as the battle commenced onward. This featured the launch of Opposite Day where warriors can choose a different faction's class to compete with. Page three was going very interesting. Admittedly, this threw me off guard as I created for a specific game plan for certain warrior moves, but they switched it up on me and caught me off guard, so best believe I had to ascend. Gamora's tsunami continued to wash away the competition, so the warriors, they had enough, man. They had enough. They ended the run of the Moju God, and I didn't take too kindly to it. Get washed, warriors! What? No! No! As we prepared for more God of War gameplay, we decided to extend Opposite Day to another day. This also debuted the Retro Alert page. Alerts like Wholesome Training and FMB returned, and all I could do was stand in awe as I received blast after blast. I was defeated before I was even to start gameplay. <laughs> Not bad, Warriors. Not bad. The battle between myself and the dojo really showed its effects as the warriors really used this page to recover. They displayed a lot of friendship and togetherness as Pugli's Parables launched. Pugli's Parables was an arc that showcased different challenges such as solving riddles, clues, and treasure hunts to obtain different rewards in the dojo. But warriors were pretty washed this page. You can thank me later. Page 6 Pokemon Violet debuted in the dojo in which I had to wait until 12.02 to get it working, but I digress. This page was a complete marathon. This includes Pugli's parables and I observed the warriors getting a lot better at solving riddles. They also began their hunt for platinum pieces hidden within the dojo's alerts to unlock the platinum Mojumon, Kitsubi, and Kitsurugi. Page 6, they displayed so much hunger to find them, but very, very few were successful, unfortunately. Good luck! Thank you, thank you, Gene. Appreciate it. Um, and you're training new warriors. Look at that. Yep, I saw that. 
I'm gonna just call you Yup. I fucked your name. I'm sorry. Yup. What's up? Oh. more violet and page seven so it was another long one you ever had a long one before i just would love to say that this game is broken you hear me broken pugni's parables continued as the warriors were getting better page by page oh the irony we finished eight gyms in page eight and this kicked off the ultimate warrior Ultimate Warrior is a huge honor to become in the dojo, as not only do you receive an exclusive battle badge to add to your profile, but you are recognized as the dojo's most powerful warrior of that chapter during Warrior Week or Warrior Month. The Angel King grabbed this title for Chapter 18 after a lot of back and forth between himself and the demon, the Shogun of Cream, Gino. As Rey went to receive his prize of wielding Thor's hammer to smash Warrior's face in, Thor arrived. He launched the Angel King away for an entire week. But then, the unthinkable happened. The returning demon, the one of legend, Billy leapt up in the air, catching the Angel King and keeping him in our Toryverse. Safe to say, Billy knew how important it was to keep Rey around, and he knew the battle that faced them ahead. Ray? Ray? Did I say a million seconds? Oh man. Thor finally arrives for battle page nine. The entire chapter so far was living for this moment. Leanne utilizing what she calls Scarlet Groove grabbed Thor's attention and truthfully, the warrior started off quite slow and I was worried that the training that we did for myself might have been too much for the dojo to handle. Did I go too far in training? Hmm. Let's see what page 10 brings. Starts with this. Our jewel containing the ultimate power. Now, where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Oh, y'all are going nuts. Oh, y'all are going crazy. You think you're just gonna approach Thor? Dolo? Yo, y'all are nuts. Yeah, that's that's raps. I, I I can't even I can't even take that like. He's crazy. He man gonna die. He's nuts. <laughs> He's crazy. This page 10 displayed the dojo I knew and loved as it began wave two. It was a page that brought hope, pride, and belief. Thor built up his infinity armor so he was blocking a bunch. The word of Thor must have spread as we saw Unity the Black Belts were expecting to see from page nine. Then Thor revealed that he too can ascend for even more damage. Did the dojo have what it takes? One more page to prove that. Fusion Awaken? Whoa, whoa, what a chapter finale for chapter 18. Storybook ending as many, many warriors attack Thor. They prove that they have an unyielding spirit. Gift and Bit Blast were flying, proven to be super effective. Even after witnessing Thor ascend, they still fought onward. Angel Army, Dojo Demon Time, Mortal Combatants, Dojo Security such powerful factions in their own right thor was defeated and at the end of this page we began seeing a preview of what was to come as gino and the angel man exchanged blows 
they were sending a message showing that they were ready to compete onward to chapter 19 dojo are you ready warriors attack and always remember keep on training